Hi guys, let's make some dumplings! So what we are going to make first in our dumpling adventure together is the filling. So here are the list of ingredients and then in the next few videos we will go over how to put your filling together. So here are the ingredients you're going to need to make veggie dumplings. I kind of did like a fridge clean out situation. So we have some carrots, some celery. You can sub this for Napa cabbage. If you don't like celery, I couldn't find Napa cabbage at my supermarket. We have some shiitake mushrooms. These were frozen and I defrosted them. Um, if you find fresh ones, do it to it. And then in this little bowl, we have garlic, scallions, and ginger. Um, I have a fun hack that I'll show you. Dun, 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 dun. For peeling my ginger is I get the little knobbies, I break the little knobbies off and then I use a spoon and then I kind of scrape it away like this and I keep scraping all around until there's no more skin to scrape. And then I use, I hold it all back and then I use a little great boy bowl. And that kind of gets like all the fibery bits out, which is nice. And then for my celery, I also peeled it before I chopped it. And the fun part about this, because I am lazy and don't want to spend a ton of time chopping everything, I'm going to throw everything into my bebe food processor, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so you're done chippity chopping the celery, the carrots, and the mushrooms. You want them to kind of be the same size as the garlic, so everything cooks evenly. And then now we're gonna cook it all off in a pan. And basically why you do that is so that the water from these vegetables come out so you don't get soggy dumplings. So the seasonings that I'm gonna use are, I'm gonna use vegetable oil to fry the vegetables. I am gonna use sesame oil for flavor, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and salt and pepper. Um, if you don't have oyster sauce, that's totally fine. Um, soy sauce works perfectly on its own. All right, let's get cooking. So I have vegetable oil heating up on medium high heat in the pan, and I'm gonna go ahead and cook the mushroom, celery, and carrots first, and then I'll add this about halfway. So now that the carrots, celery, and mushrooms are in there, I have cranked the heat and I'm gonna salt it generously with kosher salt, so that'll help kind of draw all the water out while it's cooking. And then the water will just steam away. So steamy. So you wanna make sure to keep your felon moving because you want it to cook through, but you don't want it to brown because you don't want that kind of burnt taste inside of your dumpling. So it's been about, I'm gonna say five, six minutes. I'm gonna let it go for a couple more minutes, let more steam let off, and then I'll add in the garlic, scallions, and ginger. So I turned down my heat to medium heat, and I added the garlic, the shallots, and the ginger, and now I'm cooking it down. And I am gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. All right, let's season. So we're gonna add, I think this is about a tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of soy sauce. And then we're gonna do about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Delicious. Okay, I added a little bit of pepper after I tasted it, but it is very delicious. So I turned off the heat and now I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl to cool. So while our filling is cooling, we're gonna move over to making the dumpling dough for the dumpling wrappers. It was a process, it was a journey, it was a struggle, and in the end, I would just go ahead and buy the frozen wrappers already made in your frozen section next to where the frozen dumplings already are because frozen dumpling wrappers, chef's kiss. All right, we are gonna make the dough now. So what you'll need is vegetable oil, flour, and hot water. So what we're gonna do first is add the hot water to the flour, mix it so it's all incorporated. All right, the dough and the water are one. So it's 
all shaggy right now. So I'm gonna cover it with a tea towel and let it sit for 15 minutes. It has been 15 minutes, yay! So now we are going to add the oil in. And we're gonna bring the dough together until it's one mass. Sides, clean that bowl. And now we're gonna knead this sucker for 10 whole minutes. It has been 10 minutes of kneading. As you can tell from when we started, look at how smooth our dough baby is. It shouldn't stick to your hand anymore and it shouldn't stick to the counter. Smooth. So 10 minutes is about, you know, four John Prine songs, five Ariana Grande songs, one Leonard Skinner song. So what we're gonna do now is wrap our smooth, smooth bebe in some plastic wrap to keep her safe. So we're gonna wrap her up and we're gonna let her rest for one hour. It has been one whole hour. So the glutens took a nice lie down, a good rest. I also took a lie down. So now we are going to unwrap the stove. Don't throw the plastic wrap, keep it close. We're gonna divide the dough into four pieces. So what I have off camera is a little floured sheet tray. So I'm gonna put the other three on the sheet tray. And I'm gonna cover that with one of the plastic sheets. So, Cause you do not want your dough to dry out. Ta-da! Okay, now we have this guy that we're gonna roll out. into a 12 inch log. So what's nice about dumplings is when everything is super uniform. So what I have here is my ruler, which against this is so hard to see. So we're gonna put a little tea towel down. Move the log. All right, so what we want is for our log to be 12 inches long. So let's keep rolling. Okay, 12, 12, 12 there. What we have is we're gonna cut this into one inch pieces. So this is so much easier if you have a ruler. So just use that. Okay, so you have all these little pieces now. So what you want to do is flour the surface lightly. So have a little flour nearby. And what you're going to do is push one of the cut edges down with your thumb. Like that. Do it till you've done all of them. So cute. And then let's work with one and then we're going to take the rest and put it on a sheet tray and we're going to cover it with plastic wrap. So now you have your other little dough babies and your big dough babies on this sheet tray. Okay, with my remaining baby, we are going to kind of ease it out into a circle. We want to make rolling as easy as possible. So normally you would use a wooden dowel, but I don't have one. So I am going to use my French rolling pin, which is really funny because we're making dumplings, but we're just going to kind of roll it a little bit and then turn it and roll and turn. Just 
until it's about three or four inches in diameter in this nice little circle. And then we're gonna put it on the sheet tray underneath cloth so it doesn't dry out. And yeah, let's do this for the remaining three little lumps of dough until all the dough is done. So what I like to do is have a little pile of cornstarch and then after I'm done rolling each one, I rub cornstarch on one side. And so then I can stack all the wrappers onto the sheet pan like this, boop, boop, boop. And they won't stick together. All the wrappers have been rolled. Let's fold some dumplings. Okay, we are gonna fold some dumplings. So you're gonna start with your wrapper and then take your filling. I use a little teaspoon. So I do a teaspoon and a little bit, and then you want to have a little water bowl ready and just wet the edges. Then you're going to bring both edges together and you're going to squeeze out any of the air. Then you're just going to pleat the top edge like that, kind of rest it down. Boom! A babe. Here are some of the dumplings folded. Lord, we had a disaster. My kitchen got really hot because of the sun and all of this dough stuck together. So I'm gonna find a way to salvage it, maybe noodles or something. Um, but I do have some store-bought wrappers ready here. Um, these are usually in the freezer section next to the dumplings um, in your supermarket. And honestly, they are amazing and I don't know if I would go through the trouble of making your own because hello. So I'm gonna teach you how to fold with these now. Okay, minor setback, no worries. We have store-bought wrappers too. So these instead of circles are squares. So what I'm gonna do is take my one teaspoon of filling. Well, one teaspoon and a little. And then I'm gonna wet the edges with water. And then with this one, we're gonna fold it in half like this. Squeeze out all the air pockets. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Make sure they're stuck together. Then you're gonna grab the two bottom corners like this. You're gonna twist so they overlap. Then you're gonna pinch, and then you've got a little bow, bow shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this little shape for all the rest of the wrappers, and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, here we are. So these are the skins that survived. I kind of folded in little clam lettuce -y shapes, and then these are the frozen skins I had in little old Chinese money shapes. So in all honesty, making the dough was really fun, but freezer section, man, they're so thin and so lovely. So I'm gonna fry both now so you can see the difference. Here is a little refresh of what you need for cooking your dumplings and then also for the dipping sauce we're gonna make. So in a pan that has a lid, I put a little bit of vegetable oil and I put the homemade skin ones and the store-bought skin ones. And we're just gonna let this fry for about a minute. And then we're gonna put a little bit of water in it and then cover it for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Ooh, ooh. So we're gonna let it go for another two minutes with the cover open to cook stuff. So while the dumplings are still cooking, I am making a little dipping sauce. So that is soy sauce, like a touch of white vinegar, and then I'm gonna mix a chili crisp into it. If you don't have chili crisp at the gods, Sriracha, hot sauce, just do your thin. Eat your spice, dip the dumps. Let's do this. So the dumplings are done. They went a little over, but I don't know. That looks kind of good, crispy goodness. All right, so should we go for one of the homemade ones first? We are dipping. It's hot. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. 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 
so what I think my takeaways are from this is that I could cut the dough a little smaller and roll it thinner because it is a little thick at the top over here but you live and you learn and you make some dumps so I am going to go eat these and I hope you guys make dumps too I love you guys <laughs>